Alright guys, welcome to another PSP video today. Today we have got UEFA Champions League 2006-2007 season on the PSP. So let's get straight into this one guys and see what it's all about. So, uh, yeah guys, here we are then. This game came out in February 2007. And uh, just before we get into uh, anything further, you can actually um, load a profile on this game, or cre well, create a new one, whatever. Um, and you can select a team. Now, about this um, uh, select a team thing, as you can see, FA Premier League, uh, Bundesliga, Serie A, uh, French League, League One, uh, Norwegian League, Polish League, Portuguese, there's rest of Europe, now there's a few uh, teams in here, like uh, you're probably wondering why the hell is Juventus in rest of Europe, well they were, if you remember guys, they were actually relegated in 2006 for cheating, uh, match fixing, uh, kind of along with quite, quite a few um, Italian teams, so that's why they're there, but they're still in the game uh, and whatnot. And uh, yes, so uh, there's that, Scottish Premier, Spanish Premier, Swedish, uh, Swiss, Turkish, Australian, uh, sorry, Austrian, not Australian, what am I talking about? Belgian, Danish, and we should come back to the Premier League after Ducherry Divisi, yes. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to set my favourite team on this one anyway. And uh, rival team, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much all the um, the leagues that are uh, available in this game. But, um, yeah, it does kind of make sense since, like, you know... Like, only, like, the best teams can only compete in the Champions League. So, you know, that, again, you know, it makes sense. I mean, it's sort of the same situation on um, the 2004-2005 um, version of the game. So, um, yes, but this is on the uh, the PSB, so there's maybe a few watered-down things in it. And as you can see, a beach ball, yet again, that you can unlock. So there's a few unlockables in this game. You can actually play with a bowling ball, which I wouldn't recommend that you do, guys, because that probably hurt like hell. Um, classic ball, Classic 03, Classic 04 season, Classic 05 season. Yeah, some classic balls, guys. You can even play with a cricket ball, um, a glow ball, old-fashioned, a smiley face. Yep, yeah, just kick a smiley face around. A tennis ball, which is small as hell. Uh, winter ball. And then there's some sort of Adidas ones here. I don't know if there's any... Um, oh, there's the final for the Athens final, um, which only, uh, of course, Liverpool and uh, AC Milan played with at the time quite a lot of adidas stuff here i think that's yeah that's kind of like the one from the 2006 world cup and whatnot these ones uh, and that's pretty much it guys there's not none of the uh, the nike ones available there's two stadiums that you can lock which is highbury uh which is kind of interesting that because um uh arsenal did move to the emirates uh in 2006 so yeah you can unlock highbury in this game and reopen it guys interesting stuff and there's a you wait for ultimate stage too which uh not really sure what that's all about and then some miscellaneous stuff we can unlock a video so yeah that's that and uh, there's also a history book as well in this game where you can actually have a look at some of the stuff here um beat red bull salzburg blah, 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 you know it, like i think these are from like challenges and whatnot there's actually something interesting that you can do here guys if you go into the media center in the game it has all the tracks for the game there isn't many tracks from the game but i'm just going to show off what there is and um yeah um something that you can do is you can actually like play a track for example and it, it has like the kind of um uh i forgot what it's called but that, that you can see it in the background there the green thing i i forget I, I, it lose i lose my mind guys i lose my mind just totally but um yeah and then there's an faq stuff you can actually on, on this game guys you can actually like put your own um music into this game all you have to do is put mp3 tracks into the music folder of your memory stick and they appear on the ear track section of the screen so you can actually put your own music onto um onto the game so you can listen to your own music guys that is pretty cool actually so um yeah interesting little thing there guys anyway with that all out the way as you can see um yeah multiplayer of course game modes you got your way for tournament so basically champions league tournament um juggling which i believe i showed off in um fifa 07 it looks like they've kept it for this game and uh the wall attack there is quizzes that you can do as well test your knowledge or whatever um ultimate challenge 
and um, however so you, you have these different things here and um, yeah there's there's quite a few different things here there's qualification um, so basically this one right here um, is sort of reminiscent of that sort of Arsenal game where I think they beat Wigan 4-2 in the end if I'm correct and basically the last day of the season they had to beat Wigan to qualify for the uh, the Champions League the following season um, back in 2006 so um, yeah there's kind of stuff like that sick as a parrot which is a very infamous um, game where I think in the pre-match meal that spares ate on the last day of the season, they all got food poisoning. I think they ate prawns or something, and they all got food poisoning. And then West Ham, they had to, like, I don't know, take, like, 10 or so players out of their team or something. And then West Ham uh, went and beat Spares. Arsenal beat Wigan on the last day and, like, took Spares' Champions League place. Very infamous end to a season, that. Uh, hang in there, champions only. Uh, Merseyside mission. This was when Everton tried. Well, they got into the uh, Champions League and tried to uh, beat Villarreal um, to qualify. But they didn't do it in the end in real life. But yeah, and you basically try and play as the team. That's you know you've got to complete the the missions from the situations pretty much. So uh, there is quite a few. There's group stage stuff, uh, quarter final, semi final, final. I guess we might as well take a quick look at each one of these though. I mean, why not? Um, a draw is enough. Uh, start of something big. Well, we all know what that is. Uh, goal rush, Newcastle mission. Like, yeah, free up against Barca. Way. Uh, PS, uh, V and Anderlecht, Leon, Olympiacos, uh, Arsenal losing to uh, Lazio there. Uh, Magpie mission, uh, Newcastle against Inter there. So it's kind of stuff from the past. Uh, Never Say Die, Celtic and Real Madrid. Uh, Milan and Weta Brim and PSG are 1-0 down to Barca in that one time ticking away, very infamous stuff there with Chelsea and uh, well, it, it famous, infamous I don't know, you, you could probably call it either one really um, uh, Bayern and uh, Porto, Valencia, Inter, Monaco Madrid, time for some goals and um, once and for all uh, Liverpool 1-0 up against Chelsea in um, the semi-final yeah, semi final. We're on semi final. Yeah, um, against uh, Chelsea. Yeah, uh, where Luis Garcia got that famous ghost goal, and Liverpool went all the way to the final and won it. Um, ham it up. Um, something special. Play for the win. United two down against Juve. Uh, final bound. Bayern and Real Madrid. Um, Barca against Valencia. Milan up uh, one nil against Inter. And then final situations. Um, Celtic. Uh, one nil down to Inter there. Uh, the comeback, of course, that's like the most famous one there. Of course, three nil down at half time. Come back and win the game. It says there that um, you should try and win before penalties and win be uh, win before extra time. So something you can do there. And I think believe it. I think like different um, difficulties that you play on determine like different things so yeah a uh, real deal no spaghetti legs this time clash of the titans four nil up against barca then you've got to play as barca in the 58th minute treble beckons yep yeah, man united got to come back from bayern save the day um playing as juventus against milan you've got to bonus objectives save three penalties and save four penalties well good luck to anybody who can do that so yeah uh no Mona loser, but the thing is, you can just replay these as many times as you want, and then there's pay the penalty there, buying against Valencia guys. So uh, yeah, thought I'd just go through those and whatnot. But you guys want me to get to the main point of this um, game? There's the, is the treble mode, basically the sort of main mode of the uh, the um, game where you have got you got to pick a team, and then you've got to try and take that team, you know, all the way to the final of each uh, like the domestic cup the league and the champions league and you've got to win all three so um yeah i guess i'll be getting around to that at some point in the channel guys eventually but i'm going to go ahead and play a quick game um i've decided i'm going to play uh, as a french team i'm going to play as you know, i'm going to play as leon because leon were like really good back then and they were like winning everything and i'm going to play against a very old uh now psg side who were uh, not as good as they were uh, well, not as good as they are today. So, um, yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. And, uh, yeah, you can actually select the ball and everything. So we can select whichever one we want. You know, let's play with the winter one, I suppose. Let's do that, whatever. Um, 
game options. What are we playing? I'm going to play a really quick match, I think, guys. Um, four minutes. Now, you know what? T I think two minutes because I've already explained quite a lot in this video already. Um, let's go for professional. I played a match on this game the other day, guys, and I was like no good at it at all. So if I suck, I suck, unfortunately, guys. Um, can't really do much about it. So let's go. So here we are then guys, some uh, cutscenes and whatnot for you. Um, so yeah, this game just feels like FIFA 07 guys, right? It just feels literally the same. So yeah, and it's, um, well, yeah, I mean, it, there isn't too much to say. I mean, it, maybe they are sort of like elements of FIFA 08 and then maybe, I mean, it's hard to pick out because when you when you play these games that come out like in between seasons, I just you don't know what to sort of like think of them sometimes. You, you know what I'm saying, guys? What am I doing here? I'm totally controlling it wrong. Uh, anyway, we're playing on the dynamic camera because for some reason I just play so much better when I play in a dynamic camera on these games. So yeah. Um, what's really strange though is you use the analog stick. Uh, to control the players, whereas I think in I think FIFA 09 on the PSP, I think in that game you actually sort of like play with the directional buttons by default. I think unless I change I, I, unless I changed it because I do like to play some FIFA 09 on the PSP guys because there's some wicked goals you can score in that. You know what? I really want to do a, a series on that one day. I think guys, I think I'm gonna have to because some of the goals you can score are just like amazing. Um, but yeah, um, this isn't FIFA 09, obviously. So yes, this game, um, I you know got a lot of memories with it. You know, I guess uh, th the main thing about the uh, the Champions League back then was obviously it was it was all about Liverpool and Milan again. How many times have I said that on this channel? It's all about Liverpool and Milan. Oh oh, you can't. Yeah, get in there. What the hell was the PSG defense doing there? Like seriously, what what were they doing there? I have literally no idea. Um, but yeah, you know, two years prior to this, the champions, you know, <laughs> Liverpool, AC Milan, two years later, Liverpool, AC Milan again, but this time in Athens instead of Istanbul. It was just crazy, you know what I mean, guys? It was like, oh my God, they're going to play each other in the final yet again. Like, it was it was just mental. Of course, Milan won it that time, and a um, bit heartbreaking, you know, for me as a fan of Liverpool, but... Um, you know, we did win it two years prior to that, so, you know, I wasn't too bothered about it, I suppose. Um, you know, fair is fair, I suppose. Um, you know, the season before this game, though, it was Arsenal and um, Barcelona in the final, and Arsenal did a pretty good job as well. Like, they, they could have won it, man. Like, you know what I mean? They really could have won it. And it's a shame that they didn't in the end. Um, but, oh well. Um, that's just the way it goes. You know what I mean? English clubs did really well, guys, in, in Europe back then. You know what I mean? We had Liverpool 2005, Arsenal 2006, Liverpool again 2007, Chelsea um, and Man United 2008, Man United again 2009, and then 2010 was like the only, well, one of the years where they didn't have anything uh, again until, um, uh, oh, no, wait, two, there was 2010, and then there was 20, yeah, there was 2011 was United again. And are we going to concede this? Yes, of course we are. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? It's not like I'm playing competitively here. Um, so, yeah, there was uh, Man United 2011 against Barca again. Um, 2012 Chelsea. So, you know, what? The English clubs have always done pretty well, but since then it's been a bit bleak-ish. So, you know. Um, as, of, as of this upload date, guys. But, uh, yeah, a bit of Champions League history there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's just, it, you know, it's it's, uh, it's a good game, this. You know, the physics, there's something about the physics in FIFA 07 that just, I don't know what it is about them, to be honest. Like, I've been playing a lot of FIFA 06 lately, of course, guys. And playing this, sort of, in between that, just kind of like, well, not really in between that, but, you know just kind of makes me think like well you know I, I i can see what direction they wanted their game to go in if you play the xbox 360 version of fifa 07 though it's really really good i think it's the best version actually of fifa 07 you know, i mean some people might disagree with that 
but I just feel like it, it is actually really good. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my my word on that one. But this one, I mean, I had so much time like playing FIFA 07 on the um, original Xbox because that was the console I played it on. Um, and yeah, you know I mean, it was just it was just amazing. Like, it really it really was. I mean, I could score some really good long shots on that game and whatnot, whereas like FIFA 06, I could never really do that. And even today, I still can't really do that. Um, so I thought FIFA 07 was a little bit easier, in my opinion. And uh, this game this game also feels sort of the same, I, I, would, I would say. Um, you know what I mean? Because it, it's kind of strange because, like, I also think at the same time as, like, FIFA 07 coming out, like, Pez 6 was out as well, and I'm not comparing it or anything like that, but it felt like the difficulties of the games were kind of, like, a little too easy in a way. You know what I mean? Apart from Pez 6 on the PS2, which is a different total matter, but, like, it just, I don't know. But it feels like this game had to kind of step it up. And this game feels like it may be a little bit harder. Or maybe it's just me just being a little bit rusty at FIFA 07 gameplay because I haven't, like, you know, played uh, this game in, in quite a while. But, you know, I mean, I was playing FIFA 07 on the Xbox 360 the other day, guys, and it was actually really, um, it was actually really good. So, um, you know, I I don't know. It's it's a little bit of a mixed bag for me. This game. Yeah, I mean, I never actually picked this up, guys. I've only just um, picked this up now. I mean, this is like one of the first times me playing this game um, because I never actually originally uh, bought this game when it came out. I never bought uh, Euro 2008 either when that came out. Um, so you know, what I mean, it is kind of something new for me, I suppose, in a way. So you know, when I'm talking about difficulties and whatnot, I guess you got to bear that in mind. But um, uh, yeah, um, aesthetically, um, looks good. Looks good, guys. You know, it, the um, I did sort of like uh, a little gameplay. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, oh, come on! I did like a little, a little gameplay on um, uh, what, what's it called? Yeah, the 2004-2005 Champions League game, uh, not too long back. And you got a score! Yeah, get in there. Um, I did that and. Like, yeah, it's just the good old sort of champion. It's got that sort of style to it again, if you know what I mean, guys, like um, like the other game has. So they've hit the, the nail on the head there, and it just it just looks like I'm, you know, pretty much watching a Champions League game from that that season, pretty much, you know what I mean? And so what I guess I'm trying to say is they've, they've hit the art style right, and uh, because that's what kind of differentiates this game between, say, FIFA 07 and, say... I don't know, like a Euro game or a World Cup game or whatever, you know what I mean? The, the style of it's got to be right, sort of thing. If it comes out during the middle of a season, that's okay, but like, with a World Cup game or something, you don't know what the World Cup's really going to look like, so they've really got to dig in and do their research, you know what I mean? Because they always bring out the game sort of like around April slash May time, uh, before like World Cups or Euro start, kind of. So, um, you know what I mean? They've, uh, yeah, you know, they've got this one right, I'd say. So there's that, and oh, can we keep that one in? Oh, 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 ah, bums, honestly. And yeah, we're right at the end of this game. I've just realised. So um, yeah, that's that's all good, guys. And like the game modes and whatnot, you know, um, not because because I've only just picked this game up. I haven't had time to look at the game modes, but from what I understand, it's kind of the same as you know 2004, 2005. I'm assuming, like you get like game over and stuff if you don't complete objectives and whatnot and don't do well. If you get knocked out of a cup or whatever, that's it. It's like game over kind of thing. So they've gone with the same sort of thing again, which is cool. And get in there. That 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 finishes it off. Get in there. So um. Did I actually change the difficulty before I played this match? I can't remember, guys. Am I playing on semi-pro here or something? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I think I might be. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I can't remember if I changed it or not now. But anyway, yes, the uh, the gameplay of this game is really good. And um, you know what? It might be uh, it might be fun to um, to play this one one day guys I think what I will probably end up doing though is playing this game um, I'll play the the 360 version of it uh, more than likely guys rather than um, like PSP or like a, a normal version of it sort of like on the um, 
Xbox, PS2, PC, whatever. Um, because, um, I don't know, I think it's maybe about time we moved on. You know what I mean, guys? With uh, sort of like HD graphics and all that. Into that kind of era. But, yeah. Can we get another one here, I wonder? Is it possible? Is it possible? Oh, it could be! Oh, it's way off. Damn. Never mind, that's probably uh, game over. Oh, it's just over the bar. But, uh, yeah, the challenges. You know what I mean? These games are pretty much good for challenges and whatnot. You know what I mean? I guess that's some of the inspiration of it as well um, for this. So, uh, yes, that's that, guys. So, anyway, I just want to thank you for watching this little uh, video about... Because uh, I haven't done a PSP game for quite a while, so that's kind of one of the reasons I want to do it. And also, you you guys keep asking for this game, like, uh, constantly just lately. So, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to show off um, the PSP version of it since I have a copy with me. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this um, episode. Comment, subscribe, and share as always. I'll see you next time for another PSP game. Let me know what you think of this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.